Here's another fun fact from the movie Black Hawk Down. One of the most frustrating moments of my life, literally of my entire life, is depicted in this scene in the movie Black Hawk Down. See where those tires are burning, all that black smoke? Roger, I can see it, but I can't get there. Over. Go 100 meters past it, that's the crash. Negative. You don't understand. It's roadblock after roadblock. You have to find us another route. Over. There ain't one. The only other route is all the way around the city. Roger that. Kalo 64, this is Kalo 11. Request permission to move to crash site number two on foot. Over. Green light. Kalo 11. Green light. Stop the vehicle. Let me out. I have just gone through an incredible amount of gunfire, an intense ambush, and there's a helicopter in the air that's giving me directions, and I'm trying to lead this column of Ranger Humvees to get to Mike Durant's crash site. Now that helicopter in the air can see the whole picture and can see where I'm at and can see the crash site, but that helicopter can't really see what I'm seeing from the ground. So he's giving me directions. This is how it really happened, just like you see in the movie Black Hawk Down. And he's telling me, go straight down this road, see some burning tires, make a right turn at the burning tires. You're about 100 meters from the crash site. And when he says that, I can see down this road and I can also see there's absolutely no way I can get my, my vehicles over these roadblocks and the stuff that's in the road. So I try to go from a different road and can't get it over those uh, roadblock in that road too. And and basically, I'm now at a point where I have a general idea where the crash site is. And there's absolutely no way I can get to it from this side of the city. So just like you see in the movie, I call up to the helicopter and I tell them to give me another route. And he directs me to go all the way around the city and come in the crash site from the back side of the city, which I'm in the process of doing when my character kind of ends his role in the movie Black Hawk Down. To this day, that moment in Somalia when I am not able to get to the crash site because I am so overloaded with dead and wounded that I have to take those guys back and get held up at the airfield before I could go back out there with this big Pakistani, Malaysian, US Army force that shows up and meets us at our base. I don't get back out to the city streets until 11 o'clock at night. And by then, that crash site is overrun. Those bodies are already being desecrated because my dead buddies are being dragged through the city streets. And I felt this intense frustration of going through that entire fight and not actually being able to get to the crash site. I got almost 100 meters away from it, but I couldn't get all the way to the crash site. It's one of the most frustrating moments of my life, not just on the battlefield, but in every aspect of my life because I knew what hangs in the balance and I just wasn't able to get there. And I just wanted to share this little fun fact with you, the real story behind this scene from the movie Black Hawk Down.